Scored on y'all, DJ. What's up, man? It's Quan. They key studios. I turned in with GMD TV. Yeah, a lot, man. Man, what's good, fam? Before we even get too deep in the interview, you gotta let the people know what it is that you do, for those that don't know. Man, I be filming, I do music videos, I actually just dropped a movie, it's out now, in my body, I do all that. I'm actually working on music too. Be, be turned down with the music, music dropping soon. Probably, I probably dropped the music probably like in two weeks for real. You definitely been grinding though. Before I actually met you, I saw your name stamped all over a bunch of videos. It, uh, took, ready. it took a while for you to, you know, get in the loophole with everybody and, you know, get your name popping. Hell yeah, that, I mean, like, I ain't. I ain't never had me overnight. I've been like it probably been like two two years for real. And I just started popping probably like last year. I'm say last year, but I've been doing it since I was like probably like seventeen. So it took a little minute. How old are you now? I'm twenty. Twenty right now. That's what's up, man. You young getting it in? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so you do photos too, or just video and directing? I ain't never. I mean, I tried it, but the photos can't do it. I don't got the patience for it, but I just do the directing for real, most likely. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, I was scrolling to your IG page. I just saw you dropped a new project, 100 Grand. Is this a series or a movie? It was a series, but we turned it into a movie, actually. So I actually just put two parts together, and I just turned it into the whole movie. How did you even come up with the name, 100 Grand? I don't even know. That's At first, question. yeah, I don't even know. That's a good question. How, how we, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know. It just came to bud. Yeah. Man. Straight off the top. Did you star in it or did you just shoot it and direct it? Uh, actually, it was t three main characters. Me, him, and the girl Shayla. And I helped direct it. And my homegirl, she directed it. Filmed it. Our lungs, keys, go follow her. So. Yeah, yeah, shout out to her. I'm saying her putting a lot of work getting the grind too. Oh, yeah. She actually, uh, she actually the one that taught me, like, some of the filming shit, like, what equipment to get or, like, the program, shit like that. She, like, helped me for real, got me. Oh, uh, DJ and Quan, what role did y'all play in the Honey Grand? Um, I played the role where, um, I was just one of them niggas that's build a grab, you know, and I was at the girl, uh, Shayla Dibbs. You feel what I'm saying? That looked like he got money and, she basically set that up for me. Yeah, yeah. Got me robbed. Uh, in my role for real, man, Keith, uh, like the average two Baltimore youngins trying to get it. You know what I mean? And we fell off over portrayal for real. And buddy. Yeah, money. Money, yeah, definitely. Y'all ever acted in any other, you know, movies or anything, short films besides Honey Grand? We actually uh working on this film with Keys. She got a movie coming out. I can't talk too much about it because it ain't my movie, but it's coming up though. Probably this year, sometime this year. For me, dawg, this be the first one. This was Oh, we got one. some we got some more movies though. I already started writing them all that. So my mind. He Ray B and them, starting yeah, them. Yeah. He Ray B and them. Everybody that's with me, I got everybody. What's the main concept of the movie? The main concept, a uh, uh, hundred grand. Yeah, hundred grand. Hundred grand is basically two brothers from two different homes going through the same struggle for real, and it shows you what money do to people when they down bad, and it, it shows you what what uh what it uh what it do to people. And when you when you're back against the wall, who can you trust really? Right. Yeah, yeah. What's the relationship between the characters? Uh, me and Quan actually we uh we grew up together, and we was close. Probably since like high school for real, I'ma say that. And we was close. And the girl Shayla, we actually met her in high school. So we all three knew each other before. And after we graduated for real, we uh we ain't had no plans for real. So that's basically what it was. We had to uh, get some money. We, ain't, we wasn't with that nine to five. How long did it actually take you to shoot the movie? Damn, uh, probably like four months. Cause we was procrastinating in, in between. We should have been actually done probably like two months, but we we got other things working on music on top of that, trying to start a clothing line brand and our own label, so four months. But I mean should have been done faster. Uh, so where can the people find the movie at? It's actually on YouTube. You can go on my Instagram, go straight to the link. Uh, all that bio. Yeah, link in the bio for real. Part one on there, and I got part two and part one together on there. So it's the full version, and it's out now.
I ain't even gonna lie to you. I, I always wanted to be in a movie or a series or something. So when your next film you gotta hit me up, I, I can be an extra, extra. extra. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm trying to uh, start on something probably like next month for real. On my own joint. I'm gonna be consistent with it. Alright, uh, you got any hard copies or you plan to get DVDs? Actually, uh, yeah, because people keep hitting me up about it, so I'll probably get some probably like next week. Uh, you just hit me up, hit him up, or uh, say, Quan, go on their Instagram, so DM, and ask for a copy. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, yeah. Right. You said you had a couple other projects that you was working on. You got something else dropping in 2017, or that's more so for 2018? Mm, I'm going to say, I'm going to hold it off to 2018, but I'm going to start on it probably like next month. I'm going to drop something for the... For the weed smokers only. For comedy. Weed smokers only. For real. For real. Uh, Dropping yeah. it on 420. It's gonna be called Too Big. So I'm like, yeah, short film comedy movie. Y'all gonna like this. The rest of this year baby could be the consistent with just music. Right. Yeah. Just rest of it just music. And then we go just go jump on that. Yeah. And, and that closed yeah. yeah. It'll close a lot too, yeah, most likely. If you move a little bit about the music, you uh you know, drop any videos or singles we, or whatever. uh we actually got one video out there with me and my man is Melly. Follow him mm -hmm. on Instagram, Melly H Melly M H G on Instagram. It's called uh, the songs are called Been a Man. It's on YouTube, but I actually got like probably like five, six songs. But I got one song, well two songs. I'm actually ready to shoot probably like two weeks from now. He actually on a song, so we are gonna uh, rock from there for real. Besides directing movies and shooting music videos, do you have anything else going on? You know, besides the music. Uh. I mean, I really want like basically I can write music too, like. But I actually, I was thinking actually like probably earlier today I want to write a book. Uh, I mean, on real life situations for real. Uh, so when you come across free time, would you like you know doing with your spare time? I don't even have no free time. Man. I ain't gonna lie <laughs> to you. I'm always working from the music to the videos to working. I'm always working, traveling, trying to travel more, trying to explore the city. Trying to bring my niggas with me. That's uh, we working. Ain't no non stop with that. That's how you gotta do it. Working your 20s, playing your 30s. Yeah, definitely. All right, so far as just overall career and everything that you're doing, where you see yourself in the next five to seven years? Five to seven years? I'm trying to have a whole film studio, company, production, mm -hmm. label, buildings, clothing lines, stores and clothing lines. I'm trying to have all that. So I'm trying to have the phones, all that. I'm trying to have a magic, like, big Audi, <laughs> all that. <laughs> we trying to have all that. So you got a team or you work so long? We got a team, straight to the money. It's a, it's a team, it's a family. It's a family, really. It's, it's more like a family for real. You just answered my next question. I, I was going to ask you what STT means. Yeah, yeah uh, it's called straight to the money. It's a straight to the money records for real. Y'all going to uh, hear more about that when the music drop, more so the music. We gonna drop that. Just uh, wait till the movie be out some more longer. Drop the music. Uh, so who or what influenced you to start directing? Mm, YouTube, watching YouTube videos, and I always like uh, like videos for real on TV. I'm like, damn, I can uh, do that. So I actually started watching like Aze Productions. Shout out to him. I, uh, he he really influenced me like on a music video way for real. But yeah, YouTube, watching YouTube. You got something big going on to be so young. Is it hard to stay focused? Mm, yeah, I get I get distracted easy too, but I got like the people with me. They keep me focused for real. Yeah, so it's just it's just who in your circle for real. If we all got a goal, then you always gonna stay focused. Like him, if I'm if I'm doing something bad, he gonna tell me. Yeah, yeah. And if Saquon, he gonna tell me too. Like he ain't, they ain't gonna sugarcoat nothing. If they don't rock what I'm doing. And I probably don't see it. They might see something that I don't see. And that's why you gotta keep them type of people around you. What's so much going on? Is it hard to balance your time? You know, with editing, shooting, and having fun? Yeah, I really, uh, it, like, when we had fun, we probably do it like every now and then. I don't even remember the last time we went out. Probably like a month ago, for real. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we always working, that's what, but you gotta do what you gotta do. All right. Really try to get out the city more. That's what it is. Like yeah. travel more, cities more, more opportunities for real. Mm -hmm. When it, when I feel as though I'm in a position where as though I could just relax for a little bit, and that's when I relax. But for now, we working. We working. So with all your success so far and continuing to grow, what's the biggest lesson you learned so far from then to now? Mm, consistency. You gotta be consistent. Yeah. You, you gotta. You can't just drop one video. 
let it sit for like two months. You gotta be, you gotta drop them. Like I probably like do like a whole three videos one day, drop drop them all three that same week. And I'm working. I'm shooting probably like probably five videos a week now. You gotta be consistent with the music mm -hmm. too. You gotta yeah. be consistent with the music. They've been with me on a couple video shoots. We shot three in a day. Uh, yeah. We don't get stopped. We don't. We don't stop at like one o'clock in the morning. morning. Like we 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 yeah. They've been with me through all that. So what's some of your future goals? Future goals. Uh, one of my future goals is I'm trying to make sure my mother's straight. Got to make sure she's straight. Trying to get her oh, house, man. all that. The drink. She got a car that she like, but I'm gonna get her something more of the date that she that she gonna love. But future goals. Trying to drop the clothing line. We actually working on getting a logo made probably like this week. Yeah. Put it out. Probably like sometime next month, where's though we get more ideas on what type of clothes we want to do. The real. fabric, the style. Yeah. Yeah. So we got a whole lot of plans for real. All right. So say a company came to you and wanted to purchase your label, like you know your um, company. We already talked about this <laughs> for, for a price. Um, Would you sell it to them? Nah, cause look, the 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 offer they sell you, they try to lowball you, and the money that they that you assign for, you can make that yourself. Mm -hmm. But people don't think about that. They only think about the the, the digits and all that. You can make that. You self made. I ain't, we ain't signing nothing. Just too young say, for that. You gotta be like, just pay attention because they always throw numbers at you. They throw like this couple six figures, one point three mil or whatever. But at the end, after you sign that contract, then you. I don't want to be a curse to live or whatever. But you messed up inside the uh the situation where though you can't get out. Now you gotta pay six figures to get out, pay bills to get out the contract and all that. So you just gotta pay attention. So for that question, we really would just like stay consistent on being independent, independent. Um for a very long time for real till we see exactly how good this distribution distribution deal can go unless you try to be a partner. But you sign to us, probably ain't gonna happen. And then another thing. Baltimore got so much talent that people don't even know about. You Not even with filming. People, painters, um, mm -hmm. graphic designers, yeah. hairstylists, um, anything from eyebrows, doing eyebrows, right. cutting hair. You could be cleaning all that. shoes. Yeah, you could be <laughs> cleaning right. shoes. The best, just right. whatever you do, you just ought to be the best. Added. Yeah, the best. You don't gotta be in competition with somebody else, cause mm -hmm. you see them. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be better than him. No, you stay in your lane and try to be the best person you can be. And then they gon' they gonna rock with you regardless. So just try to be the best person you can be. I see you got the AKS chain on. Yeah, um, definitely, definitely. How did you come up with the Key Studio? You know the, the name and, and Cause like uh at first it's ready to be called A Key Films, but I was like, nah, it's too everybody got films or like a production. I'm like studios, but now like last year was a problem, everybody know, oh you got studio. No, I'm running studio. I just do video. I just like the name. But the A Keith part it came from like uh like my mother she had probably called me like A Keith, come here or something like that. Sounds simple for real. But my name actually Keith. But people be thinking my name A, A Keith. Keith. <laughs> but it's yeah for real like. But it's called my name Keith. But the production company called A Keith Studios for real. I just thought it was different and stand it out more. Well, give the people a little bit about the clothing line that you're talking about. You got, uh, you know, stuff made up already, or is it in the works? Uh, it's in the works. I don't want to tell y'all the name. Y'all might try to tell y'all yeah, ideas right. for That's real, but, but the uh, clothing lines we trying to do like I want to do something different. Like we do something for like toddlers, uh, adults, mm -hmm. uh, older people, Difference. any yeah. any race, and it don't it don't have a specific uh, nationality or none of that. So we trying to do like sweatsuits. Jackets, hats, uh, coats, even um, if we get to that level, we even do shoes for real. Yeah, if we get to that level. We try to take it far because you can get far the clothes today too as well. Yeah, everybody need clothes. Everybody. I don't know nobody running around here naked. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, everybody need clothes. Right. Be cunning. What's uh, one thing that you think brought a lot of attention to Baltimore? Hmm. The murder rate. I'm gonna say the murder rate. Everybody know Baltimore for the murder rate. But it's more so positive, I'm gonna say dirt bikes. Dirt bikes. Everybody like dirt bikes. I like dirt bikes. I always like this as I was saying. I but I, I can't ride. I almost bust my ass and my mind's dirt bike. Mm -hmm. I just let it go. I ain't I can't ride it, but I'm gonna say the dirt bikes. Everybody know Baltimore for the dirt bikes. All three of y'all do music or is this you on the music? 
Yeah. It's, it's really just them two to do, uh, do the music. My man, she yeah, like the P. Diddy of the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, I'm that just, manager. Yeah, too, I'm just having like the bad strip, paperwork, stuff like that, yeah. you know, getting into like the deals, just learning the background of it, like really looking into the contracts and all of that. They, I let them handle the music because I, I love music. I got a strong passion for it, but I'm not, I'm not really into that like, making music. So I let them handle that. And I handle like you need somebody who can have that right. paperwork. Mm -hmm. You can't just be riding around, you know, making hard music or whatever. And then y'all come to a deal and you just confused. Like, okay, I'm just gonna sign. Like you need somebody right. who gonna know that. So I, I realize that. that too. Like in our city, a lot of people just signing anything. Right. Like, a lot of artists sign, but they just signing anything. You kind of jump like the first offer. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And then for like, everybody got their own group in the city. So everybody want to be in a spotlight. Everybody can't be in a spotlight. Everybody have a position in a group mm -hmm. from either setting something up or even you can even um, call somebody for somebody. You can, everybody have a role, but everybody is a family at the end of the day. So all the spotlight, I don't even like attention to be honest, mm -hmm. but like, I don't even like going in the mall unless I have to. I think I don't even like it, but everybody got their role. So. And I think that's another thing too, that like we, we all play a good role as we play our role. So we will mm -hmm. never like bump heads unless it's misunderstanding. But we talk about that and if it come down to like we handle that, but mm -hmm. it's never no no real beef or anything like that between mm -hmm. us. So we all play our role and understand what's going on. For real, I don't even remember we ever had a beef. We never had yeah. no beef. We probably like They go brothers go fight though, right, regardless. Right. That 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 comes with it. But other than that, ain't no we, I guess it just feel like we just, I built that ball so strong and we knew each other for like a good time as though it's like, we can't just be like, all right, I'm just not gonna mess with you no more because he on some tip. Like, now nah, we're just gonna handle that, you know what I'm saying? If we gotta do, we gotta do, we do that, and then let that be and just keep moving forward. Uh, so, uh, since you guys want to make music, Kwan, Keith, um, yeah. give me three things that you need when you're in the studio. Mm. We need we a need private motivation. session mm -hmm. and motivation. a private session because I, I can't focus when there's a lot of people in the studio for some reason. It's just not, I because I ain't not at that level of my comfort zone. So I like a private session for real. It had me more focused for real. Like with people, like I probably like had four people in there that I'm cool with, comfortable around. I so, say energy too. Right, right, you right. You need energy. And just be really prepared for real. And just just positive vibes right. for real. <clears throat> just zone out, man. Be in his own. What's y'all creative process on uh, writing music? Y'all like being alone or together, you know, in the environment with people? Yeah, man. Well, I, I like, normally I like to like be in my own little space, even if it's around them or I'm by myself. I don't really like being around a lot of people because I can't concentrate on what I'm trying to put together and make it sound, you know what I mean? Make it sound good. And for me, I really, I really ain't, I ain't come to that level where though I got a process or whatever is on my mind, I just write it down for real, and that's what I see at the time. So you probably hear a song later on when y'all hear the music, y'all probably hear a song like, oh, you probably ain't feeling so something. Nah, that's just how I felt at the time. Or you yeah. probably hear a song like, damn, you really just said that. Yeah, it's just how, how I feel at the time, though. So it's different type of music. Trust your process. Mm -hmm. Earlier, I heard y'all mention something about a record label. Give me a little, you know, a little bit of the background about that. Um, the record label really is, as you know, it's straight to the money, and it's the record label that just um, we we really just signed. But right now, we in the production of really getting everything. But when we do get everything, we just looking to sign it. Whoever really got talent, who really hard working, who really just trying to stay focused, and I'm trying to really get to that point where I can just help, you know, help people get out, get their families out the neighborhood, just help build opportunities because. It's a lot of people who just struggling, but you know they know how to make good music or whatever, but they just get bad and they get into like bad environments and stuff like that. So I'm really just trying to help people for real who know how to make know how to make real good music, you know. And um that's really it though. Signing good artists. I mean they come to any label, I mean like any like area of the music, like rock and roll, you know what I'm saying, like mm -hmm. rapping, R and B. Right. If you know how to make good music, I'm here for it. Um rock and roll, R and B, hip hop. Um, but it really goes to like all, like all areas of the music. If you really know how to make good music, I'm not going to sit right here and just be like, okay, we sign to just hip hop artists who just sign to people who do R and B or whatever. Like, if you really know how to make good music and you really getting the numbers, like you really need to get the numbers, then I'm going to make sure I make sure you good, I make sure you know get that money. You can be able to help your family, or whatever, help who you ever got in your circle, get out the situation that they're in, um, and that's not even just like just the label. I'm going to make sure I 
help people after they sign it. Like, I don't want to be that person who just signed people and then after that, I'm just going about my business. You don't help the artists that you got. You not helping them. Even if they decide to be independent, you put them in bad situations where they got to pay like 700K just to get out the contract. I'm not going to be that person. I'm going to make sure I put you on with the game, ask you to sign under me. And if you decide to go independent, I'm going to let you know, you know, I mean, it's a tougher road. That's why a lot of people who do end up being in the game, they end up eventually signing. Like a boogie, he was independent. And now I think he's with um, Atlantic, I believe, or something like that. So as you go on, you decide, like, let me get this uh, uh, label thing a try just to get the background of it. So I'm going to make sure I look out for my artists as well. Just because you signed to me, ain't going to be just you signed to me. I'm going to look out for you. Man, shout out to Damon. Damon, uh, man, Damon. Skinny Creations, shout out to Islands Productions, uh, shout out to Bing, shout out to Bing. He uh, he been with us. He uh, recorded a couple songs for us. Been the producer for a couple yeah, like yeah. songs as well. A one Bing. Yeah, I got. He dropped fire like every week. He is yeah, always too. Every yeah. week. Yeah, yeah every week. Yeah. Check him out. Yeah. Check Multi talented. Out. Shout out um Damn. Destiny. Destiny got some shoes. She sold shoes. Check her out. She gonna be, I'm gonna put her on my page later. Check Destiny out. Yeah. Yeah, check out uh, Belly and Bass Juke too. He coming out with some more music yeah. as well. And Lil Smitty, he coming out with some music as well. So is Bangers. Bangers. Yeah. Bangers. So That's just it. stay tuned. Y'all uh, follow me at young underscore wise underscore NT on IG. Y'all can follow me on Instagram, AQ Studios, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all that. And a movie in my bio. And y'all can follow me at slick.dj with two Ks. Or Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. We about to be out at this in GMD TV.